It's time for the third Big Trick Countdown video, where I look at the craziest new accomplishments in the juggling world. What are the highest levels of technical juggling at the moment, and what are the unusual props where jugglers are currently pushing the boundaries of human ability and creativity? Like the previous videos, I'm defining a big trick as juggling with at least seven objects, so no matter how cool five cigar box tricks are, they don't quite make the cut here today. And there has to be at least two distinct elements to a trick. World records with a single pattern are for a different list, or else these videos would be nothing but Tom Whitfield every single year. Let's get to it. Penguin catches, lazies, reverse shoulder throws, they're all variations on the technique where instead of catching in front of you, your hand catches kind of beside or slightly behind your hip. Kenny Chung and Alex McGivelry have the current records for five club lazies and seven ball penguins, and in 2022, Artu Laatinen from Finland set the new standard for lazies with rings. 14 catches in a row with seven big rings. It looks as beautiful as it is difficult, and Artu looks very pleased he got this trick. Maximilian Kushmiets from Germany is on a mission to juggle as many six and seven ball patterns as he can, typically reaching 100 catches with the most difficult sight swaps ever attempted. The biggest trick he's done recently though is with eight balls and it's switching between different patterns. He goes from an eight ball fountain to an eight ball half shower, back to an eight ball fountain again all in one run, 16 more catches, a clean finish and he ends with a classic celebration. We've seen rings, we've seen balls, how about rings and balls at the same time? It's called Mixed Prop Juggling, and here we have a 7-up 360 pirouette by David Yemishan from Ukraine. A 7-up is technically impressive, but that's not what Mixed Prop Juggling is really all about. With Mixed Prop patterns, you want to accentuate the different techniques and shapes with different props doing different things. So here's David doing a multiplex pattern with three rings and four balls with an alternating three-ball triplex. David makes it onto the big trick countdown for the first time with this very pleasing trick. Well done, have a pat on the back. Most Ken Dharma players take the name literally. In translation, it's one Ken and one Dharma, one handle and one ball. And then there's Yuta Shimoyama from Japan who's taking Kens and Dharmas in a different direction. Sometimes two handles, sometimes two balls, some good stuff with two handles and three balls, and even some tricks with four balls. But the big trick list requires seven props. So check this out. It's a Ken Ken Dharma 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 Cascade. Five balls on two handles. It's a very very clean pattern. It's not a clean finish, but it's enough to make it onto the big trick list. Anthony Gatto retired in 2012 as undoubtedly the best technical juggler of all time. Many of his records still stand, and many of his tricks have never been repeated. Many professional jugglers would be happy to repeat even one trick or sequence that he used to perform on stage every night. In fact, most jugglers would be happy to match a juggling trick as he could do it on stage aged 10 years old and already a professional juggler. Luke Burridge from the UK has recently been working on one of Gatto's signature tricks, and a few months ago I performed it, yes it's me, I performed it for the first time and it's a very satisfying trick to perform for an audience. However, the trick that makes it onto the big trick list is from a practice session and it's a six ring version of Gatto's five ring and balance trick. Now Anthony Gatto could have done this with six rings I'm sure, but we're all living in Gatto's shadow. Many tricks that have made the big tricks list previously and two more tricks coming up in this very video are featured just because someone has matched or slightly exceeded tricks that Anthony Gatto could have done in his sleep 20 years ago. Seven ball back crosses, you throw all the balls up behind your back. Seven ball pirouettes, you throw all the balls up and spin around underneath. Why not do them both at the same time? Because it's impossible, unless your name is Delaney Bayliss. Here's something she shared on Instagram in 2022. It's a seven ball cascade with seven ball back crosses, seven balls up, a 360 pirouette, and back into a stable pattern. It's an insane trick. In fact, it's so insane, I just showed it to you twice. Time and time again, we keep returning to seven club back crosses in these big trick videos, and for a good reason. It's become the new benchmark for burly technical club juggling. If you can do this trick, you are for sure a very good club juggler. But how do current jugglers compare against, say, Anthony Gatto's skill in 2006? 
Jack Denger managed one extra catch with eight catches to Gato 7, but stopped juggling after the last back cross. Masahiro Takahashi got the number one spot on the big trick list last time for nine catches and also doing some normal seven club throws afterwards, but compared to Anthony Gatto, he never fully recovered from the trick and stopped juggling very quickly afterwards. That brings us to Spencer Androli from the USA, who in 2022 got seven club back crosses for seven catches. Most importantly, he returned to a solid seven club pattern for at least 21 more catches and finish clean. It has taken 16 years but someone has finally managed to match the control over this trick that Anthony Gatto had back in 2006. Sticking with Spencer for a moment, he also matched Anthony Gatto's 8 club world record. He did 19 throws but only 16 catches. Turns out catching 4 clubs in 2 hands is very difficult. Ask Kento Tanioka from Japan, who has been working on multiplex patterns with, frankly, too many clubs. Here's a seven club trick with multiplex throws, which is very good, but Masahiro Takahashi made the list last year with seven club multiplexes too, so we've got to go bigger. Here is an eight club multiplex trick with four in each hand, but eight club multiplexes have been done before, so let's step it up again. Here's Kento doing a 9-club multiplex trick, which is insane. Now, this wouldn't count as a 9-club world record because multiplexes aren't allowed, but to this day, only three other jugglers have ever caught all 9 clubs when thrown in a solo 9-club pattern. But the multiplex I want to see, a long time dream trick of mine, is the triplex cascade, where every throw is three throws and every catch is three catches. This has been done with nine balls and with nine rings. Years ago, I put hours and hours and hours into the nine club triplex cascade, but I never managed to get it. The best I ever did was the eight club version, and a few months later, I stopped training it. The ceilings at home were too low, and taking nine clubs to every gym session just for this one trick got old pretty fast. But in 2022, Kento Tan Nioka borrowed one of his brother's clubs, worked out a better technique than me, and he managed the nine club triplex cascade, a trick I've wanted to see since I quit working on it back in 2014, and now I'm happy I'll never have to try it ever again. It's Anthony Gatto. Yup, this guy again. Here he is, back in 2000, performing in a circus with seven clubs. Nothing unusual here. That's the normal finale trick of his normal juggling act, but this was no ordinary circus performance. This was at the Monte Carlo Circus Festival, and the biggest, most prestigious prizes in the circus world are handed out for performances at this very festival. No juggler had ever won the Golden Clown Award before. It's the top prize, and only three are awarded per year. So Anthony Gatto knew he had to do something special. Instead of finishing with the seven clubs, he decided to take it up a level and attempt, on stage, an 11 ring flash. He landed the trick, of course, first time, no sweat, and that's what won him the Golden Clown Award. He's very pleased, as no juggler had ever done this before. Look, there's Prince Albert giving a standing ovation. Good job, Anthony Gatto. So now you know how this list works. Who can match Anthony Gatto? It turns out in 2022, Daniel Lysenko from Ukraine also began performing with 11 rings in the circus ring. And remarkably, he's performing it not as part of an award show or for a special jury, but as the normal finale of his normal act. 11 rings on stage is a very impressive feat. But is it a trick that should be in this video? I said at the start that the trick needs to have at least two elements and can't be a pure numbers pattern. So how can Daniel turn this into a juggling trick with at least two things? He's added something else in there, not just the 11 ring flash. The way he does it is this, an 11 ring flash with a late pirouette. Daniel Lysenko is matching Gatto's peak award-winning performance regularly on stage, and that gets him into the big trick list for the third year in a row. Back in April, Spencer Androli shared a clip of seven ring pancakes for 14 catches. I made a note at the time, this is big trick list material for sure, but I wasn't sure where it would appear on the list because while it's impressive, it's not even a world record. Back in 2011, Tony Pezzo managed 15 catches of seven ring pancakes. So what is this trick doing here at number one? It's because, of course, Delaney Bayliss, a juggler from the USA, who has a habit of just adding seven catches to any previous seven ring trick record. The previous seven ring back crosses record was seven catches, and Delaney made it 14. The overhead record was eight catches, and Delaney gets 15 catches. 
This time, she doesn't add seven, but six is enough to improve the seven ring pancake record from 15 to 21 catches. It's turning from a trick into a very solid looking pattern. So if you're ever wondering what you have to do to get to the top of the big trick list or reach number one on the top 40 jugglers of the year, you've just got to add seven to Spencer Androli's best records. So there's another 10 entries in the big trick compendium. I can't wait to see what jugglers attempt over the next year. And to make sure I don't leave your favorite big trick out of the next video, leave a comment on this video when you see something impressive, crazy, or unusually difficult in the juggling world. Now go on, like the video, consider subscribing to the channel, and head over to patreon.com forward slash Luke to support more videos like this and all of my other juggling projects. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.